and then I'll take you guys' questions. So this is going to be really quick. Welcome everyone to the call. I just gave a update. If you missed the updates, please get back with the person who is your sponsor so they can give you some information. I did not record the updates. My name is Megan Lynch, just one of the many leaders over here. Today is thousand thousand dollar. I forgot my dollar on here. Thousand dollar Thursday. I'm super excited though, because I've been working. I have not been sitting around waiting for this uh, system to come up twiddling my thumbs. I have in every single one of my legs right now, I have major teams who have at least 100 to 500 people on their Google forms ready to come in on my leg one, my leg two, and my leg three. Here's the question that I wanna ask you guys. Have you been waiting or working? How many levels deep are you in your organization? I don't care if you just came in two days ago, right? How many levels deep are you? Because in order to really blow up your downline, you have to drive six to seven levels deep to find a leader. And I, there were some people in my chat yesterday who were, oh, I'm a little frustrated. I guarantee you, they don't have Google Forms. Guarantee you that they're sitting around and uh, I don't mind us, the devil's workshop, right? They've been sitting around just waiting and worrying and waiting and worrying. Ask yourself, oh, Thank you. My battery's about to die. Ask yourself if you are going to come into this company with a bang, okay? Ask yourself if you're going to come in with a bang. Are you bringing people into the system? And if you are, here's the question I want to ask you. Sorry, hold on. Let me plug up my stuff. I'm signing up, I think, 15 new people. I'm signing up. And every single one of those people, they're brand spanking new and they are already signing up their three. How many levels deep are you in your organization is the question during this downtime. Okay. So let's take a look at it guys. Um, today income producing activity, 11 o'clock training, two o'clock opportunity call. You guys have an opportunity to invite as many people as you possibly can. Um, there is two seven o'clock calls. Bob Morant does a phenomenal call. You guys want to get on there. The Global Money Team does a call at seven as well. I'm doing a really, really big launch. Both of my brothers are launching their teams tonight, which I'm excited about. And I have a few more people out here who are also launching. Make sure that if you guys want me to say your name because you're launching, please text me or call me or something ahead of time. Because if I don't have you on my calendar, I'm not going to know that you're launching, unless I write it down. And then um, remember guys, we have opportunities. There are two two o'clock calls, my call, and the global money team does a call. There are two seven o'clock calls, there's my nine o'clock call, and there's a 10 o'clock call running simultaneously every single day. You guys have ample opportunities to invite people to see the presentation. What if you just invited one person a day what if you invited one person to each call a day and you expose the opportunity to five people a day? What if you were signing up one to two people a week? Would you be excited about that? So condense your time frames. You guys could be knocking out these ranks if you utilize the calls that we're doing, okay? So I already told you guys what's happening with the uh, corporate updates. So kind of just to to go over that um, again, I said I wasn't gonna record it, but I will, I guess it's good stuff, right? So the great thing is, is that we have a, um, they're, they've almost finished in uh, updating everything and setting up everyone's packages and enrollment information should finish. We should be ready to go by tomorrow, okay? Great thing is, is that um, as soon as we're ready to go tomorrow, Trust and believe I'll already be making a video and we'll be circulating that video on how to properly navigate the back office and set up your new members. And what you want to do is, is when you guys do figure out where your referral link is, never ever send a naked referral link. What I mean by that is 
because this is an issue. Sometimes people are sending their referral links and their referral link gets mixed up with somebody else's referral link. And then they're like, oh, the company put my person in the wrong place and then come to find out. 99.9% .9 of the time, guys, when we're having issues, it's all human error. I didn't get paid, human error. Um, I signed up a person and they went under somebody else's link, human error. <laughs> Right. You sometimes I was telling Dr. PK, I was like, some people have been making me look like an idiot to the owners. So I stopped sending things to the owners and I started double checking stuff um, because 99.9% .9 of the time it's human error. Okay. So we're going to have to really, really focus on learning the new platform that comes out. And, and you know what I love about it? that we are all going to be on the same playing field because I'm going to see the back office the same time you guys see the back office. So the great thing is, is that you should know just as much as I know if you go through your back office. The only reason why right now I know that the alerts telegram um, link is on uh, under member support page three right now is because I've clicked every button. So when people ask questions, I know that they haven't navigated the back office and that's what you guys are gonna have to do as soon as you sign up. Mind your own business. Read the playbook, both of them, from front to back, right? Because I'm telling you guys right now, as soon as the system comes up and it's A-OK, -okay, I'm launching 120,000 emails and I'm gonna be super, super busy and I'm getting ready to start traveling with my mask on. Dr. PK, I'm gonna have my mask on. So some people are gonna have to step up, right? Um, a gentleman told me yesterday that he was kind of upset that I was taking a day off, but I'm like, look, this is you guys' opportunity. I'm kicking you out the nest. We have leaders right now. Alamein has a call at five o'clock Eastern, a French presentation every day. I'll have to add that to the new playbook. He does the presentation in French every day at 5 p.m. Eastern. So if you know anybody, shift them there, okay? This is everybody's opportunity, though, to really step up and start presenting. You have a one-pager in the playbook. Everybody should be presenting. If you are over here, you've been over here for longer than a week, you're not new anymore, okay? Kicking you out the nest. We're about to create some legends and I need a little bit of help because um, I have a lot of people who are getting ready to flood this system and I wanna make sure that they're positioned with leaders who are already running my system. All right, let's look at this really quickly. 9 p.m. is always an opportunity call. It's a launch call, whatever. You guys could be launching at two o'clock or nine o'clock. I'm just kind of looking at the chat, okay? So here's what we need to look at. You guys follow the system. I've condensed it to seven steps. We always talk about this. If you have not made a list on paper of 50 to 100 people, you're not following the system. I don't care if you're a bishop right now, if you have not made a list on paper from 50 to 100 people, you cannot ask your team to do it. You cannot ask people to do what you haven't done, right? And what's gonna happen is, you're going to get to noble and you're going to get to bishop and your organization is going to stall. It's going to stall because your people don't know what to do. You got to get everybody to make a list. You have to schedule people's launches within 24 hours of them joining the business, right? You launch your business within 24 to 72 hours at the latest. Launching means I'm going to, by any means necessary, Malcolm X, this business, right? Malcolm X did things by any means necessary. I launch businesses by any means necessary. I'm calling every single person I know, and I will not be in a business longer than 24 hours, and I'm launching. I'm calling everybody before anybody else can call them. Then I'm gonna get off of my launch, and I'm going to follow up with as many people as I possibly can before I lose my voice and I'm going to get their questions answered and I'm gonna three-way them. That's what you guys have to do. Do not drop the ball, you have to launch, okay? You have to follow up with those people. As soon as you follow up with them and you enroll excited people, 
introduce those people to a leader. Um, sorry, hold on. Just got to change that. All right. So enroll excited people. Why I say this is this is what a lot of people do. They'll spend all of their time talking, trying to convince one person who's negative to the business. Sorry, guys, this is going to bother me. And then um, what you really need to be doing is you need to collect your yeses, nos, and maybes all at one time. And if that person is giving you like grief and, oh, I don't know, it sounds like a pyramid, blah, 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 hang up with that person. Say, look, can I put you on the phone? You got two minutes? Put them on the phone with somebody, but I'm not going to be on the phone with them very long trying to convince them of anything. We're going to say, listen, well, when you decide, when you make a decision, or maybe you want to get on another call, you call us back. We got some other people to call. Do not waste your time trying to convince one to two people when you have a hundred other people that you need to call and you need to enroll excited people first and then immediately introduce those people to a leader so that that leader can welcome them to the team and we can schedule their launch calls ASAP. We wanna get into people's networks. Now what I do with my people, I wanna get into their networks before their launch call even happens, just in case they have a stupid attack and they decide that they don't wanna do the business, I already wanna know who they know. Okay, hey listen, make a list of everybody you know, circle your top five to 10 people, and three-way those people to me right now. This is what I do with my people though, guys. Okay, this is what I do as soon as I sign somebody up and their launch call is tomorrow, I'm already three-waying. I'm on three ways with their top five to 10 people because I want their top five to 10 people to already be looking at it. I wanna answer their people's questions. I'll get them to watch my nine minute video. And then I want them to invite five to 10 people to my new person's launch call because I want to be two levels deep in their organization already before that person even launches their business. And then I, I duplicate. So I just do things really, really fast. I'm not anything special. I just, I'm just really, really fast at going through these seven steps with all of my new people and their new people and their new people. And I will get six to seven levels deep in your organization, probably within the first one to two days of you joining my business, right? On purpose. When you guys are following the plan, this is the step that most people mess up on. Step number four is really, really important. Introduce all new members to a leader. As soon, I don't care if I'm on a three-way call with one of your people, I'm going to say, okay, hey, Rashawn, thank you so much. Go ahead and get signed up. As soon as you get signed up, I need you guys to give me a call back. I do that on purpose because as soon as I'm rushing Rashawn to get signed up, and then as soon as she signs up, I'm going to treat her like I signed her up because <clears throat> I may not trust the person who signed her up not to quit the business. I know that I'm, I don't want you guys to think this sounds negative, but it's how you have to think if you want to get to legend. You, you can't always trust that people are not going to quit your business. You have to trust that you're not going to quit your business, all right? I always bet on me, always. You guys have to start betting on yourself, but you have to start following the system, and but you have to focus on duplication. It is not how many people you can sign up. It's how fast can you duplicate your signups. I don't sign up a ton of people. I duplicate people. I'm not going to be the one to probably sign up. Well, I mean, in this business, you can because it's only $99, but you don't have to be, you don't have to be a um, massive recruiter because some of our massive recruiters, guys, and you're on this call, you guys are dropping the ball because you're not introducing your people to a leader and you're not duplicating the people you're signing up. So you're constantly starting over. Focus on duplication. Treat all members like you sign them up. Um, I know Deanna came from Linda and Linda came from Reagan, but I treated Deanna like I signed her up. 
I know Alameen came from Deanna, but I treat Alameen like I signed them up, right? And then Alameen has signed up a ton of people and I met all of Alameen's people. So you guys have to start treating these people like you signed them up. You schedule all of your new members launch calls. I'm not leaving it to anybody else to do it. I wanna go six to seven levels deep and I wanna know who they are so I can make sure that they're on my schedule if I, I'm making them a flyer. When my brother signed up um, this NFL player who's made millions of dollars, right? His name is Ryan. He signed up Ryan and Ryan, I was making Ryan's flyer when I, when I met him on a three-way. And I was like, well, Ryan, are you really looking to like knock this thing out of the park? He's like, yep. I was like, okay, spell your first and last name. I said, I want you to launch your business tomorrow. He hadn't even signed up yet, mind you. And I said, give me your cell phone number. I texted him his launch flyer and his link to the call when I was on the phone, on a three-way call with him. And then my brother, Justin, signed up this girl named Kimberly, who's a beast, did the same thing with her. I was making her flyer while I was talking to her on a three-way. So I'm not messing around, guys. I'm scheduling people's launch calls. I'm getting into your network. Why? Because I'm minding my own business. I also want you guys to understand that on these calls, I will often role play with new members. People are afraid. They don't know what to say. So if you put them on the phone with me or another leader, I'm going to tell them exactly what to say to get people on their first launch call. And it's not a lot, guys. If you make a big full-fledged list, you need to tell people that you're in a hurry. You need to invite them to the call at nine o'clock and you need to tell them to get on early because there's going to be hundreds of people on. Let me say that again. You need to be in a hurry. You need to invite them to the call. You need to let them know there's gonna be hundreds of people on. So they need to get on early. That's it. Make the biggest list possible, and you're not going to care that 80% of the people that you call are not going to show up. And then you're going to build a strong foundation. Ask yourself this question, guys. Tomorrow, when the system comes up, how many levels deep are you in your organization? How many levels? Okay, this is level one, level two, level three. So when I signed somebody up, I, I gave them a Google form and I said, okay, go sign up your people. And then anybody who wants to sign up, put them on the phone with me on a three-way so I can explain to them why we're not moving into the system right away. And then I said the same thing to those people. Put them on the phone with me so I can introduce myself. This is three people come in, nine people come in, 27 people come in. This is $1,000 a month right here. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, treat this business like, well, let me back up. Treat the list like every single person is worth $1,000. If every single person was worth $1,000, how many people would you put on your list? If I told you guys, I'll give you $1,000 for every single person on your list, some of you guys would go and empty your cell phones. But some of you guys, I tell you, empty your cell phones on a piece of paper and you don't do it. Why? Because it's just not that important to you right now. Treat this business like they're going to pay you a hundred thousand a month. Treat it like they're going to pay you 500 a month, a thousand a month, 2000 a month for your contacts. That's it. Right. And then you guys got to grind it out. Get your three, help them get their three, help them three get their three, help those three get their three, become a founder factory in this business and drive through your organization as fast as you possibly can. Last thing I want to tell you guys, and then I'm going to take your questions. Somebody told me, well, I'm just really worried that a lot of my people are going to fall off. I'm like, don't worry, like work. Go to work. I already know, guys, your business is going to die every 90 days. That's how it happens. It dies, and then it'll go back up. Then it'll die, then it'll go back up, and then you'll hit momentum, right? I already know that I'm going to lose some of my people, but guess what? 
I've already replaced those people. And I'm not trying to sound, you know, like people don't matter because they do, but you have to figure out why you're doing this business and don't be emotional if people decide to quit your business. If, if you sign up one person and you launch this person's business and they give you three and they decide to quit, three to one, three always beats out one, right? And this person might wake back up later on. So stop crying about this person who, you know, is, is, wants to be an entrepreneur, but they're used to quitting things. Don't cry about that person. Get into their network and find somebody who's more like you. Because I promise you, the person that you personally sponsored is probably not going to be the person that is going to take you to legend. Let me say it again. <laughs> The person that you personally sponsored is probably not going to be the person to take you to legend. It's going to be the person that they introduce you to, right? And it's going to look like this person to this person to this person to the way down here. And all of a sudden you meet somebody who's more like you and who really wants to grind this business out. So, Stay off the emotional roller coasters. We just got to enroll as many people. Leaders will identify themselves. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to pause for a second. Eat back. Will that be okay? Oh, sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm going to shoot you that information and I'll see you on my call at nine. All right. Thank okay. you. Thanks. See ya. Okay. Bye. Miss Mary, we're going to do it again. Don't be so nice to me. Okay. 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 Sure ring, ring. Hello. Hey there, can I speak to Miss Marvelous Mary? Uh, this is she. Who's calling? It's Megan Lynch. I know I haven't talked to you in a while. How are you? I'm good. What's this about? Good, good. Hey, listen, um, I am actually getting ready to run into this meeting. I'm calling you out of the blue, but I'm doing a really, really big call tonight at nine. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Um, okay, maybe. What is it? Can you just grab a pen for me real quick if you're not driving and write this down? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nine o'clock tonight. I'm doing a call. It's going to be hundreds of people on there. I'm just trying to get as many people as I possibly can to take a look at my new opportunity. Do you think you can make my nine o'clock call? Well, what is this about? What kind well, of opportunity is it? Well, super excited about it. You'll hear all about it. I'm actually running into this meeting and I got about three to five other people on the call real quick. So if you can make it, that would be great. It's at nine. You can hear all about it. Do you think you'll be able to hop on? Um, is that central time? It is Eastern time. So here's what I'm going to do real quick. Cause I don't want to hold you up and I'm, I'm rushing into this meeting. I will, I'm going to shoot you over a text message and a flyer with the call info. I know I'm calling you out of the blue. So if you can't mm -hmm. make it, text me, let me know you can't make it so I can put some other people on that spot. I can only hold a thousand people on this call. So, um, if you can make it, that would be fantastic. Okay. Okay, so now, is there going to be some money involved? What kind of money are we talking about? Always, girl, you, always money involved. I'm always about my business. But listen, I'll call you back, though. Um, if you get on my call, great. If you don't, shoot me a text message. Let me know you can't make it. I'll just, I'll put somebody in that spot, and I'll hit you up after my call, if that'll be okay, and I'll get some feedback from you. Okay? Oh, all, right, all right. Okay. Thanks, Mary. I got to go, so I'll see you on my call at 9. Click. Okay. <laughs> you ain't getting nothing out of me. I'm not telling you not one thing. You could ask me a million times if you want to, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay super excited, and I'm rushing you off the phone because I already told you I was in a hurry, Miss Mary, so I don't know why you're <laughs> asking me questions. <laughs> but you guys have to learn how to not break. People break and they start <laughs> rambling. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there is, and it's Forex. No, I just told you I was in a hurry. Like, no, I'm in a hurry and I got other people to call. So if you make it great, if you don't, I'm replacing you anyway. <laughs> That's what I do with everybody. Like, and, and some people like they're going to be negative and they're going to be even, they're going to be nasty. Some of them, like I had a person like, no, nah, nah, I'm not interested. Hey, listen, no problem. You know where I'll be at nine o'clock. If you want to make some money, hit me up. Got to go. Bye. Click. <laughs> 
And then you just have to understand some of those people are going to come along. Some of the people want to join me in business guys right now, but their pride will not. And I'm not kidding. Some people are going to miss out on making hundreds of thousands of dollars because their pride is in the way. And they were mean to me in March when I called them, <laughs> you know, they were, I had some people who were not very nice at all. And guess what? They join my business with somebody else because their pride won't let them join me. But guess what? You're in my downline anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get you one way or another. I don't have to personally sign you up. I'll let Dr. PK sign you up. All right. Cleat it. This is what I'm, I'm going to role play with you really quickly, okay? This is after the call. So when I tell people, listen to what I say to people at the end, I said, hey, listen, um, I'll probably just, I say probably, because I downplay it. I'll probably hit you up after my call to get your questions answered. Will that be okay? You have to make people say okay to you. I kept doing that to Miss Mary. Will that be okay? Will that be okay? Will that be okay? She's going to say okay, because it's just natural. She got me to she committed to a follow-up. So now after my call, I'm going to call and follow up. So Cletus, I'm going to call you and say, yes, you made my call. Okay. Okay. All right. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey there. Can I speak to Cletus? Hi, this is she. Hey, it's Megan again. Um, real quick. I was just, I'm trying to follow up with everybody. There were so many people on the call. Did you make my call tonight? Uh, yes, I did. You did. Okay. Good deal. Well, listen, um, you heard that it's a great opportunity. You could make money using the product. You can make money sharing the product or doing both, you know? So I just want to be able to get some of your questions answered. But first of all, what were you most interested in? Well, I, I believe I like the networking part. Okay. Well, listen, let me get my partner real, real quick. If you have like two minutes, I want to make sure I get all your questions answered. You have a two quick minutes. I'm going to see if I can get him. He's super busy though. Uh, sure. Okay. Give me just a second. Let me see if I can phone him. And then guess what? I'm going to get my person. I'm going to introduce, edify my person to Cletus and I'm going to mute my phone and be quiet. And I'm going to let my person ask Cletus questions. Okay. If you do not want to ask them what they like best, if I ask Cletus, hey, did you make my call? She says, yes, I might just say, okay, hey, listen, you got two minutes real quick? Let me get my partner. And then my partner is gonna figure out what Cletus liked best. You like the product, the referral side, or both, and then be quiet and let them answer. If you guys want this training I'm doing right now, I have a video on my Facebook, on my, in my playbook, <laughs> on how to share my video. Watch it. I'm doing exactly what I'm telling you guys right now. I already have a video on it. Okay. Now, Cleta, tell me that you didn't make it. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey there. Cle is Cleta there? Uh, this is she. Hey there. It's Megan. I was just giving you a call back after my call. I was just wondering, did you make my call, Cleta? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you sent me a text message and I just didn't get it. Um, but it was super exciting. We had a ton of people on there. Now, are you actually looking to make some extra money? Um, sure I am. Sure. Okay. Well, listen, I actually have a nine minute video that just kind of goes over everything that we talked about. Um, you know, we're helping people add an extra income just from their cell phone. You can get educated you can make some great money. You can share it with other people. Now, are you, you have about nine minutes. Can you watch the video? Um, yeah, yeah, i watch it, yes. Are you sure? Because I'm going to call you right back in 10 minutes. If you can't watch it now, I'll get it to you tomorrow. Okay, sure, I'll watch it. Okay, well, listen, I got all these people after call. We had hundreds of people on the phone, uh, on the Zoom. I'm doing another one though too, a live one. So I definitely want you to see that one, but let me shoot you this nine minute video. Let me go ahead and call a few more people and it's 1241. I'll call you back at about 1250 if that'll be okay. Uh, that would be great. Okay, so just in the video, just understand that you're getting ready to see a powerful educational platform. Um, I think it's one of the best platforms. We have people 
ages 18 to 94 over here making money on this program. You don't even have to leave your home. So I'm going to call you back as soon as um, I talk to these other people. Okay, Cleta? Okay, wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. You're looking for call. All right. Thank you. I'm going to make her say okay over and over and over again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> right? Because some people act brand new like you didn't just tell me that I could call you back and you're, <laughs> you're kind of acting hateful. But you guys have to have thicker skin. If you make a, a full-fledged list, you're not going to care when people say no. I don't have time when people are being negative. Um, I got on the, a Zoom call with this guy. He was so freaking rude. He was probably the rudest person. And it so much so, I could feel like the adrenaline pumping through my body. And I'm like, let me get off here before I go off on this person because I'm human too. So I just told that guy, I said, listen, I don't think this is the right opportunity for you. Um, I don't think you're a good fit for my community because we really operate out of love respect we make money together but i don't accept everybody in my program so i'm gonna go ahead and get off this zoom you let me know or you let the person know if if you want to join our community but just understand we don't accept everybody and and it was like i bounced off the call quickly before i lost my spirituality on that zoom call All right, Tanya, did you have a quick question? And then I got to get out of here because I got to take my daughter somewhere real quick before the two o'clock call. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. Anybody else? Megan, I have a quick uh, question. Okay. Okay, I have never, this is Cletus again. I have never been good at the uh, compensation plan. So I kind of got this a little more down pat, but I, I've been looking at the person in the first leg this person in the second leg and the person in the third leg. Okay, so I hear you saying you're going straight down on the first leg. Okay, I have, um, I'm looking at the chart and I know it takes four, four, and two. So if I have no one in, in the second place and I'm putting everybody on the first leg as it relates to being founder, if there's no one in my second place, uh, do I become founded by the fact that I personally sponsor three people, whether they're in the first, second, or third leg? Yes, but let me just clarify this though. So you could put a person here, like let's say you're signing up your family and you want to keep them together, and you signed up your mom, your cousin, and your brother. And if you wanted to keep them together and they're all on your link, you're still a founder because they don't have to be in each leg. Now, in order to be commissionable though, you do have to have, I'm not telling you guys stay in your first leg. I'm telling you guys that when you start signing people up, don't be in their, all of their legs building. Because why would they ever work? Like here's my son right here. And my son is at 2000 a month. He's getting ready to hit 5000 a month. But he has, um, well, let me show you guys real quick. Hold on. So my son was like, well, mom, you know how the young kids are. I shouldn't make them sound like that, but that's how he sounded. Because he's like, well, how can I get to 5,000 a month? I'm like, get to work, first of all, because I, I can't build your three legs. Like I helped him get to 1,000 a month, and then he got to 2,000 a month. But I'm like, in order for you to get to 5,000 a month, I can't build my three legs, your three legs. And I told my dad the same thing because my dad is at legend in one leg. That's because my dad is in leg one. His second leg is already at legend. Why? Because that's where my Canadian team is. Byron Jennings is in there. I got a lot of people in leg, in my dad's leg two. And, but my dad's leg one and three are not doing anything really okay the reason why is because um he's not building <laughs> and i can't build it for him right now you know what i mean like i'm like you gotta um do it yourself oh his client membership needs to be upgraded um so look at my son's legs right now can you see this Cleta? i can't see it okay so you see how I was in my son's leg two, and that's why his leg two has 890 people in it. So he's actually at 20,000 a month 
in one of his legs. And then um, he started building in his legs one and three. So now his one and three are starting to take off. He's at 10,000 a month in leg three, 107. But this is my Australia team is over here and they're getting ready to sign up a hundred more people. So he's getting ready to be at 20,000 a month in both legs. Guess which leg he's in right now? Leg one. So now he's starting to sign up um, people in his leg one. And let me show you guys how it's being built. One second. So in leg one, when I say stay in, um, let me see. When I say st stay in one area, I want to build straight down and I want to I wanna start a fire underneath those legs. So look right here. This is my son's leg one. So this is Leroy Madison. And then look, this is, I put this person as expired, but look here where, this is where I started. And I'm just straight down. See where my son's signing up people? Boom, right there, like one. This lady used to be expired, but she just activated her account. Why? Because she has 37 people in her leg one. This person canceled their subscription. Doesn't really matter. I just act like that person's not there. And I just keep building straight down, right? Some of these people are expired. They'll wake up though, right? They're expired because our system is expired and they got to activate, but I don't care, right? I just keep building fire straight down and these people will eventually activate or not, <laughs> but look, straight down. So what do you think is going to happen when I get to all of these people and launch their businesses? So Rosalind's right here and I drove so far down. Now Rosalind came in and Rosalind is a knight getting ready to go noble. So I'm going to stay in Rosalind's leg one right now and in her people's leg one. And now I'm starting fires under the people she just signed up. So guess what? It's going to make her people go, man, let me get to work. You guys see that? So what do you think is going to happen when these people get their three? This leg is going to go straight to China. And I stay right here all the way down. And all that volume, all those numbers roll up to all of my people. Does that make sense, guys? It's what I did in my leg um, one. That's why my leg one went from 600 people to 6,500 people because I tap rooted like this. So guess what? I just did it in my third leg, and I'm going to run this leg to 6,000 people as well. Question? Cleta, did that answer your question? Can you hear me? Um, yes. Because my phone is jumping every page there is. So I can't see you. <laughs> oh, okay. So please. But I, but I believe. Down. And leg one, you're leg one, two, and three. Okay. Don't have your people spread out all over the place because then you're trying to, you're building your three legs and then you got your people spread out all under their three legs. Right? You don't want to do that. You want to stay in one area. Well, I need, I need four in my second leg to become founder again. Do you mean to become knight? No. I've been founder twice because I had five people to lead. So, so now I'm three. So you only need three people to be founder. You need I know, but everybody in my second leg left. It doesn't matter. You need, and to become founder, you only need three active personals on your link to be a founder. Anywhere in your downline. Well, I, I, I gave, I gave, I, I used my link under, under two of the people. So I, I don't know. I really don't. Okay. So Cleta, don't give your personal sponsorships to anybody. Okay. You, until you signed up 15 to 20 people, don't give your personal sponsorships away to anybody. You sign up everybody with your own link and you don't need four, you only need three. You need three active personals on your link to founder anywhere in your downline. They could all be in one leg, they could be one in each leg. And then if you wanna hit night, you have to have four total 
Numbers 4, 4, and 2. Right. You're confused. That's, I'll help you. <laughs> no, no, I, I've been trying to get forward in my second leg. To, to you just need to, become. Yeah, Cletus, you need really one. You need one person in your, in your second leg, and you need to right. get that person to launch their business so they bring in three, there's your four. Okay. 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 Um, yes. Megan, your baby is waiting, and I don't want her to be upset with me. And the clock is already knocking over two hours. Yeah. And um, Kalidas, I I would recommend that you get back with your sponsor, or uh, someone, because it is it, you, it, Megan. She needs to be with her sponsor or somebody who can sit with her and really go over this because it doesn't sound like she has it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm she, needs to sit with some, she needs to sit with somebody. Yeah, and um, I need to see so, uh, Dr. PK. Alan, Alan has had his hand, hand up for a while. We need okay. to see what that person has to say. And then, Megan, we need to close. This already two hours. We, okay, we, go ahead, two Alan. Hours. Real quick, Alan, what's your question? Unmute. Okay. And then Galaxy S20, you've been trying to say something for a minute. Please don't lean on that. You've been trying to say something, and but your phone's on muffly. I can't hear you. Uh -uh. Okay. Hey, Megan, thanks. And have a great day and be safe out there. Thank you, Wayne. Okay. Hit me up later, guys. Okay, Megan, thank you. You're welcome. Day, Talk to you guys later. Thank you.